The Lesson Activity Toolkit is a collection of games and exercises that will help you bring a new level of interactivity and engagement to your classroom. The activity you can see here is just one example of the dozens of different types that are available in the toolkit. It's really quick and easy to customise activities like this with your own content so that you can use them in your lessons. To open the Lesson Activity Toolkit, click on the Gallery tab. You'll find the Lesson Activity Toolkit folder just below the Gallery Essentials folder. If the Lesson Activity Toolkit folder is missing or empty, you can download it free of charge from the Smart website. You can see how to do this in one of the other videos. Let's open up the folder structure and have a look at what's inside. As you can see, the Lesson Activity Toolkit is divided into six subfolders. The Activities subfolder contains blank template exercises that you can fill with your own content. As the name suggests, the Examples subfolder contains pre-built examples that let you see what some finished activities look like. The Games folder contains things like dice, crosswords, cards and board games. The Graphics and Tools subfolders contain individual buttons and items that you can use to create your own activities from scratch. The quickest and easiest way to get started with the Lesson Activity Toolkit is to take one of the pre-built examples and customise it for your own lesson content. If you've never used the Lesson Activity Toolkit before, I'd suggest you start here. As soon as I click on the example subfolder, you can see that we've got 122 notebook files and pages to choose from. I'm going to open this up and take a look at what's inside. As you can see, there are lots of different types of activities to choose from. The best way to find activities to use in your lessons is to drag them out onto a page and try them for yourself. This is a balloon pop activity. It's a fun way of getting students to categorise things or answer a question. You can change the text on each balloon to say whatever you like. You can also reset it for another student by tapping on each balloon a second time. That's not the kind of activity I'm looking for, so I'm going to look at another one. This is an activity that lets students categorise angles as either acute or obtuse. There are buttons that let the students check their answers and reset the activity. They can also press the Solve button to see the right answers. If we head back to the Page tab for a minute, you can see that each activity has been added on its own page. I'm not interested in the balloon pop activity right now, so I'm going to delete it. Now, this activity is something that I think I could use in my lesson on food types. I'm going to show you how to modify this example with content that I can use in my lesson. As you can see, I can't change any of the text or bring up the selection box for any of these objects. They're all locked down. To modify the content, I have to press the Edit button. The Edit screen lets me replace all of the text and pictures with my own content and change other things like the number of columns. I need three columns for my lesson, so I'll select that option. Next, I'm going to change all of the column labels. I want columns for three types of food meat and fish, fruit and vegetables, and starches. I'll change each label by double-clicking on it to select it and typing over it. I want a few more images, so I'm going to change this to 15. Now, at the moment, we still have the old pictures in the original 12 boxes. You don't have to delete them. Just drag the new images over the top. Now, I'm going to head into Gallery Essentials and find some pictures of different types of food. Now, I'm going to type the word food and click Search.
as you can see, our search has returned 73 pictures that we can use. I'm going to scroll through the pictures and drag the ones I want into the activity. Now that I've got all the pictures I need, I need to change the labels for each one to match the type of food. I can do that by clicking on this arrow, which opens a drop-down menu. I can select the right type of food from the menu. Once I've done this for all 15 items, it's time to click OK and test it. The exercise is working just as I want it to. Now I'll save my notebook file ready for my lesson.